I'm James Myers from Merlot Page First Contact Realty, Barrie, Ontario. And over the years, I've done a few videos on what you can purchase for a house for under $250,000 in Barrie. Now, as you know, the prices have changed considerably in the last few years. I did a video last year about what you could do for, get for under $250,000. And I'm going to do this one here. And this will probably be my last video about what you can get for under $250,000. I'll maybe have to adjust it to what you can get for under three hundred dollars or even $350,000. If you would like to see the videos that I did previously on what you can get for under $250,000, at the end of this video, I'm going to link uh, to the other videos. There will be some screens pop up at the end of this video. Just click on those and you'll get to see my previous videos of under $250,000 in Barrie. Last year, the real estate market in Barrie and pretty well everywhere else in Southern Ontario was on fire. There was bidding wars, shortage of listings, prices are up everywhere. But now prices on the mid to higher price range of houses have come down a bit. The condos and the lower end price houses have held up pretty well and they've even gone up a bit in price in some areas as you'll see. In last year's video the areas that I mentioned as being available for under $250,000 were 28 Donald Street, it's condominium townhouses, 63 Ferris Lane as well condominium townhouses. There was Timber Walk which is a combination of apartments and townhouses and 12126 Bell Farm Road condominium apartments and Edge Hill Drive, condominium apartments. Now of those five areas, Ferris Lane and Donald Street, the townhouses, they are not available for under 250 anymore. They're almost to $300,000. I think some of them have sold for over $300,000. In Timberwalk, the townhouses are not available for under 250 anymore. You can still get an apartment, a one, two or three bedroom apartment in Timberwalk for under 250, but Edge Hill Drive and Bell Farm Road, the ones right up by Highway 400, they are still available for under $250,000 when they come for sale. You will not get a freehold property in Barrie for under $250,000, a townhouse or a detached or anything like that. No freehold property for under $250,000 anymore. Right now I see three properties for sale in Barrie under $250,000. They do come up for sale in that price range, but they don't come up very often and they don't last very long. Even in the areas surrounding Barrie, like Innisfil, Oro, Springwater, Angus, that kind of thing, there's nothing available for under $250,000. The only thing that is, is Sandy Cove Acres, which is south of Barrie in Innisfil, but it is a retirement village, a retirement community. You have to be over 55 years old to be in it. And it is a land lease community where you do not own the land, you just own the house and you pay a land lease fee every month. But with the average price in Toronto hovering around a million dollars and other areas around the GTA around about the same price, I still think Barrie represents tremendous value for your home buying dollar. And we have this beautiful lake here as well.